Welcome to our series of videos on lean concepts. Hello friends. In this video we will understand a very important lean concept SMAD single minute exchange of dyes. Developed by renowned Japanese industrial engineer Shigeo Shingo. The name, single minute exchange of dyes, originates from the aim of cutting changeover times down to the single digits, which is less than 10 minutes. SMED was developed in Japan during the 1950s and 1960s. At the time, almost all changeover work was performed while machines were down. Shigeo Shingo made a distinction between changeover work that occurs while a machine is down, internal setup, and preparatory work that can occur while a machine is running, called external setup. SMAD is a way to significantly reduce changeover time. First let us understand what is changeover time. Changeover time represents the elapsed time to change over from the production processing of one product, in this case product A, to a different product, in this case product B. How to achieve SMED? SMED can be achieved by following these five steps. Let us understand about these steps in detail. First step. Set up your pilot, or test area. Simply observe or record as video if you can how long it takes for the changeover to complete normally. This will give you a baseline changeover time to improve on. Second step. Analyze and break down places where unnecessary delays in the changeover are, and make special note of things which seem to take a variable time to complete. By the end of this process you should have a detailed list of every step in your changeover, and average time to complete for each step. Third step. Separate out external elements and move them to occurring before or after the changeover, while machines are still running. Examples of external elements include parts retrieval or inspection and certain kinds of cleaning that can safely be done while the machine is working. At this stage your changeover time has already been halved. Fourth step. Now, identify places where internal elements can, with some work, be converted to external ones. For example, adding safety equipment that allows all cleaning on a machine to be done while it's still running, or making equipment more modular so things can be changed out for different jobs much more quickly. Fifth step. Streamline everything else you can by doing stuff like standardizing tools. Example if you only need three sizes of socket wrench to use on any piece of equipment in the shop, maintenance becomes easier and reorganizing things so as little movement is necessary to retrieve any given item. There shouldn't be a 5-minute walk and a long search to find the right tool you need for the changeover. Following are the benefits of implementing SMAD. A reduction in the footprint of processes, with reduced inventory freeing flow space. Productivity increases, reduced production time. Increased machine work rates from reduced setup times, even when the number of changeovers increases. Reduced defect rates due to the elimination of setup errors and trial runs. Improved quality stemming from fully regulated operating conditions. Increased safety due to simpler setups. Simplified housekeeping due to fewer tools and better organization. Reduced setup expense. Elimination of unusable stock from model changeovers and demand estimate errors. Thanks for watching our video. We hope this video was useful. Please share this video to your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more quality management related videos.